Hello everyone, uh, this is Victory. It's me in the workshop. Today we have one unit of the machine. The capacity is up to four millimeter and uh, it will be it will produce C and the U purling uh, in one machine. Even on this unit of the machine it can produce angular purling. The application for the product is good for the solar panel a support system and right now the machine is well uh, is tested in workshop here is the decoder and on this decoder the loading capacity is up to five five ton it's coupled with loading cart and on the decoder we have considered about the press on together with this kind of disc brake here is the disc brake while unwinding the coil, and if you stop the machine, this will help to, to clamp or just to hold on the coils. This is the cabinet, and here's the coils. Loading cord. Hydraulic pump system is inside. Right now, what we tested the material is four millimeter. Here is four millimeter, the coil material. And then the coil will be inserted into the punching unit. This is the punching unit with a servo feeder. So this, this is the feeding guide, clamp loading, leveling unit, and here's the punch, punch head. And on this machine, we have applied for this kind of the isolated punching frame for each punching die. This is the general view of each dice. And here's the pump system. And then together with this electrical cabinet, reforming machine. On this reforming machine, the capacity is up to four millimeter, the thickness. The minimum thickness, what we suggested, is two millimeter. But of course, you can do 1.5, but we understand that the radiance of the purling will be different. And right now, in our machine, we have combined the C purling and the U purling into one machine. The width of the purling is up to 200 minimal is 80 millimeter the height of the purling is about up to 100 millimeter as well as usually for width and height changeover it's applied with servo motorized so in this machine it is same uh, from my video you can see all our rollers, pillar stands, the gearbox somehow is heavy duty and it's well organized and designed uh, into the machine. This will concern how the purling comes out with a street and with perfectly size. Those kind of the ports will determine if the purling comes out in somehow straightly way, or if it's twisted, or with some deformed. And in the last, it's, it's kind of the... And from this side, we can see uh, the first clamping roller with the end uh, servo feeding is jointed with gearbox. In this side, we can see the punching dice location.
is pre-cutting. While we want to change the coils, this pre-shearing will help to cut off the coils. Here is the control panel. We call it like post die. Here's the post cutting die. Uh, <coughs> if you have followed up the, our YouTube, and the, in the last year, we also produced the four millimeter CZU purling line. In that moment, we have applied like a multiple cutting die at the, in the end, even it's kind of stop cutting. But while we got the feedback from the customer side,